risque behavior. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Risky Behavior. Tonight's conversation is brought to you by the No Fugazi podcast. They're going to be having a conversation about dating, specifically older men dating younger women. Now, a lot of people have different opinions about this. I've noticed lately there's a lot of women standing up against it. They're calling it predatory behavior. There's some men that's they don't think it's cool either lately, you know, Um, so. Tonight, we're going to be talking about that. Before we start, I am going to give five benefits for older men dating younger women, younger women dating older men, and then I'm going to do the cons as well for an older man dating a younger woman and vice versa. So for me personally, though, I couldn't date somebody that was like, it couldn't be more than five years younger. That That's for me personally. If I'm looking at somebody else's relationship and somebody said, hey, what do you think about their relationship? I would say five to ten years. Anything more than ten years to me is kind of like, eh, because I just don't know what y'all would have in common. I don't know what you would talk to that person about. That's, that's a significant age gap, anything more than ten years. So, But I want... You know, anybody, anybody that's watching, make sure that you form your own opinion, get in the comments and let me know what you think is too much of an age gap. You don't have to agree with me at all. You got some people that feel like, hey, you should just date somebody your age. But I think five years, that's a that's a good, healthy number. So we're going to start off with the benefits, which is okay. So older man dating a younger woman. So. Number one is vitality and energy. The younger woman's energy and zest for life can be infectious, encouraging the older man to explore new activities and perspectives. Number two, different perspectives. She may introduce him to current trends or new ideas, keeping him connected with the younger generation's viewpoints and technologies. I don't know if how many older men would accept that. I don't know. Sometimes to me, it's like the older you get, the less you care. You don't even want to learn about their new trends and stuff. But anyway, three, nurturing aspects. So the older man might enjoy the role of being a mentor or guide, sharing his life experiences and wisdom. Four, rejuvenation. Being with someone younger can evoke a sense of youthfulness and adventure in the older man. Hmm. I want to know, like, how long does something like that last? Because it's always any relationship is rejuvenating in the, in the beginning, right? But I think compatibility is that thing that carries y'all through time. That's what makes the relationship last, to me, anyway. Five, complimenting life stages. And forgive me, I'm a little tongue tied. I was eating one of them freezy drinks and I need to drink some warm water or something like that. But (laughs) number five, complimenting life stages. The older man, likely more established or settled, can provide a sense of stability and security that is often appealing boom so those are five benefits of that older man dating that younger woman and stuff and i also asked um i was also looking up and putting together some points for the younger woman dating the older man so i guess this would be her benefit so Number one, younger woman dating an older man benefits are one, maturity and stability. I already figured that one. So older men often bring emotional stability and maturity to the relationship, which can be comforting. I get that. 
too. This is probably like the first point most guys would point out is financial security. They are more likely to be established in their careers, offering financial stability. Three, life experiences. Older men can share valuable Older men can share valuable life lessons and experiences, providing guidance and mentorship. Number four, different priorities. The difference in life priorities can be complementary as older men might not be as focused on trivial matters that younger men might find important. Now, that one, I think, is a. That's a big deal because. um as an older man, he shouldn't, he should not be showing insecurity the way younger guys you tend to be a little bit more insecure. And I think that falls in line with that. You know, older man kind of not worried about what some of these younger guys worried about. They don't want to waste their time on little silly arguments. Number five. Focused on the relationship. Older man may be more ready for a committed relationship, having passed the stage of casual dating. So those are the benefits. Okay, and so then I also uh, did the cons as well. So the top five cons of an older man dating a younger woman. Okay, so number one. And the cons to me, before I say them real quick, the cons to me is like the most important thing. Cause I think in the beginning, everything is lovely. Everything's beautiful and stuff. But I think the cons start showing themselves the longer that relationship goes on. You start to realize like, mm, is this really going to work? Mm. So number one, differing life priorities the age gap can lead to differing priorities in life stages such as career focus starting a family or lifestyle choices potentially leading to conflicts which is natural because y'all in different stages of life and I can only guess that if you're doing an age gap that's more than 10 years, that's really, really got to hit you hard that, you know, that's got to make it worse. Number two, generational gaps. So that's the differences in cultural references, music and technology can lead to a lack of common interests or difficulties in understanding each other's viewpoints number three social stigma and judgment couples may face societal judgment or disapproval leading to stress and discomfort in social settings or within family dynamics yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be hard you showing up with grandpa People going to have something to say about that. You showing up with this girl look like your daughter. So number four is uh, future caregiving, caregiving concerns. So future caregiving concerns. So as the older partner ages, the younger may have to take on caregiving roles sooner than in age match relationships, which can be a source of stress. I don't think a lot of people think about that part, though, because that person going to get older and you're going to have to take care of them unless you're just going to walk out on them. So number five, insecurity and jealousy. Insecurities may arise with the older man possibly feeling anxious about the younger woman's social interactions or attractiveness to peers, potentially leading to jealousy and control issues boom and to finish it up we're gonna do the cons of a younger woman dating an older man so i guess this be more geared towards 
if a young woman asked you should she date an older man and you had to give her five kinds. So number one, power imbalance. There can be an inherent power dynamic at play with the older man in a more financially or socially dominant position, which might affect the equality within the relationship. And um, I can definitely uh, see that he might try to big boy you. I'm older, no more, uh, you know, Two different social circles and interests. The younger woman might find it challenging to integrate with the older man's social circle or to share in activities that interest his age group. Of course, that's only natural. They are older, have more experience than you. They might not be able to um, really talk to you about anything. I mean, if he's significantly older than you and you're at one of his social functions with his friends, they're sitting around talking about their children and you're kind of like in that, you know, it would just be weird. Especially if it's a significant age gap, they're going to be like, my daughter's only like three years younger than you and Bob is dating you. And I think it would just be awkward. I, I don't know. But number three is family planning um, discrepancies. If the younger woman desires children, the older man might not share the same enthusiasm, either due to having grown children already or not wanting to start a family late in life. Boom. And another um, thing, too, would be a man who is older without kids. And he's dating a younger woman now. When it comes to pushing out a baby and stuff, of course, a man doesn't have to do that. So he's not necessarily on the clock, but he may be on a personal clock because if he's 40 years old, he's still going to want to try to get that child out because you definitely want to be able to run around with that kid and be able to do things with them. You you wouldn't want to wait much longer than that. I don't think you would want to be. Most men would not want to be 44, 45 with a newborn. So if he's 30, 38, 39, 40 years old, he may put too much pressure also on that younger woman. Like, come on, let's have that baby, you know? So that's another way of looking at that um, too. So number four, long term health and energy levels as the older man ages, differences in energy levels and health can become more pronounced, potentially limit shared activities or um, lifestyle choices. And another thing, too, is um, typically women's sex drive goes up and typically man's sex drive goes down. So that's another thing about it. You're already with this younger woman and she's just getting better and better when it comes to that. And yours is kind of like, some would use that as an argument to say that really young men should just date older women. But anyway, um, number five, expectations and life experience. The older man's life experience might lead to him having set expectations for the relationship or how problems should be solved which could clash with the younger woman's views or need for personal growth, which is probably what's happening now because um, some of these older guys still remember a time where women may not have voiced their opinions so loud. And so you can't just tell them, shut up like you used to. You know what I mean? You can't do that anymore, man. It's equal rights. It's equal rights. It's equal. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this um, video. And I apologize. I had a couple cat gotcha tongue, tongue tied moments. I was eating them frozen drinks and I I love them. I don't get to drink them all the time. So I had 
two ices and it's like my mouth frozen. I should have got me some like room temperature water before I started um, talking, but we're going to get through it. So um, let's go ahead and hop in this video. Hey, right I think there. that comparison is where you lost us. Yeah. I just, what I, comparison? I would, a pedophile and a, a gay pe person. Yeah, like, I don't... I, no, no, I, no, no. It's very simple, ladies. It, you're being lost because you're... you're no, you're we just confused. don't agree. It's not it's lost. It's not about being I don't agree. agree. You don't understand. What I'm, no, I understand to, and no, I don't agree. You listen, it's because you're emotionally evolved. No. Listen real quick. I don't like the narrative choice, that because right? somebody doesn't agree with you, that means their emotions are at play. I can... Mm -hmm. I don't have to agree with what you're saying. And it come from an emotional standpoint. I don't agree with your views, your value, your standpoint. I don't agree. Listen, it has baby girl, listen. I know you don't agree because you're on a stripper pole. Usually, okay, you know what I mean? when you're doing something well, generic, what does that have to it's do with like, me agreeing listen, with you saying your a views, gay person and a It's very simple. Look, look, time out, time out, look. Your views, are all, your, your views are already perverted. Your views That's are what already you. Listen, you just, time I know out, one mic at a time. I know people that you rock. I know male degenerates that you are friends with and you just sat up here and said you distance them, yourself from them I'll but i've go, yeah. seen them sure. on this podcast and i can name the degenerate things that they've done if i really wanted to so you, you people that smoke you, weed That's no that, that ain't it weed. i'm talking about sexual activities that make them degenerates i ain't even talking mm -hmm. about weed and i've seen them on this podcast on the on the clips that i did you i've seen their faces i've had a gay here. person on this podcast no no i if that's I've, the only I've thing. never had okay, a gay so person. I, that's not what How I would you know, though? Oh, How would you know, though? No, no, stop, stop with the gay. So I the mean, only way for a, a man to be degenerate to you is for him to do something gay? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But anyway, let's sexual, get back on topic. I say gay. I've let's get back on topic. that you were friends with on this podcast do degenerate things but in a sexual of Mike, nature that don't have to do with, with homosexuality, and you didn't separate yourself with them. You might not have wait, known wait, the degenerate things they've done behind you. Whether it's targeting younger women when they're thirty plus mm. because they know they're more susceptible to mm. um, what so younger do, women? What I the, was one of those younger women. How old were you? Twenty. Okay, so a man. <laughs> look at chat. This is funny. So a man that's in their thirties talking to a woman that's twenty. You think that's degenerate? No, no, that's no, 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 no. I didn't say that. I said. What was asked and what was the seductive nature? No, 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 time out. No, you just the said. No, time out. No, 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 one mic at a time. One mic at a time. I'm gonna, I'm the host. I'm gonna speak. You are accusing me, my having Not people you. on this podcast. No, this listen. You are accusing me of having people on this podcast that was talking to younger women. I just asked you something, and you, I said, you said it was you. I said, how old are you? You said you're 20. No, I'm I said, not 20 now. I was okay. 20 then. I, no, I said, how old plus. were you at the time? You were 20 years old. At the time, okay, you're tw you were 20 years old at the time. How is that anything degenerate? An older man talking to a grown-ass younger? That's not what I said was the degenerate part. You that. skipped past what was the degenerate part. I said... I already told you. Purposely, purposely going out of their way. Things, no, I... And, 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 in my, and in my personal opinion, it is degenerate when a man, 30-plus, intentionally seeks out women in their... 20s? Early twenty, early twenties, late teens. Nothing is wrong with that. Okay, listen. To seduce Stop them it. For Stop it right there. Reason. Stop it right there. Wrong. You are incorrect. I'm not wrong. No, That's wrong. my You're opinion. Incorrect. Let me stop you there, right? And this is what I'm saying. What I wanted to tell you before. The reason why you ended up on a stripper pole is because your mind is perverted anyway, and it's diluted. You don't know so what my thinking, mind is. Your thinking your is mind already is diluted. diluted. One mic at a time. I'll let you speak, and I was asking you questions, and I'll let you finish through. Got it, right? So what I'm saying is this, your thinking was already perverted, which then led you to the stripper pole to do a degenerate action. Because you sliding down a pole and let another nigga slap your butt and throw money on you is disgusting and degrading. Yeah, you said you don't let niggas do that, but I'm sure they do. I can probably call up my homie right now and see what's good. And that's it. Hmm. I don't know. She wasn't too specific on the age. Now, if you are... 30, 31, 32, because she just said 30 plus. Um, 30 is still a young guy and a young woman when you first, you know, so to just say 30 plus, it's, it's kind of, um, you kind of hit that mature stage around 35. So just saying 30 plus means nothing. You could be saying 30, 31, 32. And I don't understand. I wouldn't see. I wouldn't understand nor 
comprehend why somebody would want to talk to a 20 year old. You know, if you're in your thirties, I don't know what you would want to hang out with a 20 year old for. It was, it seems like more like a headache, but I would say, you know, they can't even go enjoy a drink with you that, you know, they're 20 years old. But if you're talking about like 22, 23, I'll say 21, 22, 23, 24. I don't see what the problem would be with that. You know, so if you're like 31, you can go to 21. And remember, this is me. I say five to 10 years is a good age gap to me. So, you know, 31, 31, 30. I mean, 31, 21, 32, 22, 33, 23, 34 to 24. And stuff. And to me, that makes sense because most guys, you know, when you're around like 28, 29, you kind of get in a feel for the career you're in. And by the time you're like 30, 31, you kind of feel like, yeah, I got this. And that confidence makes you say to yourself, I think I'm ready to start a family. And I think that's a nice time to start because. Most people feel still that going along with the gender roles that the man is supposed to be the protector and provider. If you are 22, 23, 24, if you're dating a guy that's at least 30, 31, he's stable as long as y'all don't try to have kids right away. That's a perfect time. Because you have one person that's a that's a look that's older, already established. And think about it this way. Yeah, the woman, she's still young, but that's perfect because he can work, he's stable, he's paying the bills. You have time then to finish up school, start off your career or set up your business whatever y'all want to do i think that's the um i think that's a good setup i don't see anything wrong with that now if she said 40 plus i'd be like i'd be i'm just against that I, if you're in your 40s i don't think you should be in with somebody in your 20s but that's just me personally but her just saying 30 plus that's so broad like i said the guy could be 31 32 33 i don't It would be a benefit to a woman that is 23, 24, because the likelihood of a guy being ready at her age is I just don't see that. I I was I am a guy. I was that age before. And it ain't too many guys thinking about marriage and family at that time or seriously dating. But it is most definitely young women. Twenty. I would say definitely around 23, 24, 25 that are ready to settle down. It's plenty of them. But them finding these men that are their age around 23, 24, 25, 26, even 27, that's willing to settle down. They would have to go to a guy that's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, even maybe, you know, 35, 36. Let's go ahead. 37, 38, 39. They would have to. They would have to. I don't. I mean, I'm a guy. I've been that age before. I don't remember no guys my age ever talking about marriage. I mean, they would avoid that conversation at all costs. I mean, that we probably That's talking about right? the one that did the degenerate actions that I'm talking so you, about. Okay, but you are 20 years old. That's, That's what you're trying right. to say. Right. That's right. right. And my, okay. You are legal. legal. And my, legal. legal. Okay, so. And my question to you was, is, is the only thing that makes a man degenerate being homosexual? Because no. is it, okay, so what no. makes a man degenerate to you? Because okay. I said, Let's get into if it. a man 30 no, plus seduces yeah. a woman 10 years. And I do want to say that he does. It sounds like he's being mean, but uh, he does have a point for you to... And that's weird that we live in a society like this now is because 
of social media, they have bigged up. Like you can see now on Instagram, you have porn stars that are, have been uplifted to be admired. And they have these followers now and these, you know, and it's the same thing with a stripper, right? But what he's saying is that you calling someone else a degenerate for, you know, they're dating and they're dating somebody that's younger than them. But you're a, sh a stripper is what he's saying. It's, you know, it's like you think it's okay to take your clothes off for money. You think it's okay to be in these environments. So what he's saying, and there is an argument for that, is that if you... Um, it's almost like this. I've noticed that people that have been through a lot tend to not say things about other people because they kind of feel like they're judging. And it's, you know, like if you used to be addicted to drugs and I'm talking to you and I'm like, yeah, this person addicted to drugs, you're more likely to be empathetic and you know oh well you know we all go through things and sometimes people do get sick and so what he's saying is that's what she's doing you know um but in reverse so he's saying you're morally bankrupt you know who are you to tell us what degeneracy is because you engage in it yourself so how can you tell us what it is? Because you don't even realize what you're doing. It's a form of de um, degeneracy. Years his senior. So what about a woman? A still degenerate. Mm -hmm. No, but like a you woman. Crazy. But like a woman twenty Let knowing that she's going into a club, knowing it's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 no, year no, old no, men. No, 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 no. In there, you know you about to go in there, and they about to. Hey, no, no, no. Do. And that's fine. What I'm asking him is. From his point, because from what I was getting, it seems like the only thing that he was saying that made a man a general is homosexuality. Because no, 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 when no, no. you're trying to switch general, it up. You're trying to no, backpedal I'm now. Not, I'm asking okay. because my point was you're trying to backpedal. A you're man totally 30 plus. No, I'm not. For you, me, I wrong. feel like it's degenerate behavior for a man 30 plus to seduce women 10 years his That's senior not a and cohort. So, That's not a seduce. So one, <laughs> let's make some corrections here, right? What do you think about a woman? What do you think about it? What's, what's the uh, one one woman? Um, Dane. Drea. Uh, you, you, we got Drea talking to the young basketball player. He's 19 years oh, old. She's 35 years old. That's nasty. You think that's inappropriate? That's nasty. Okay. okay. Wrong. That is, so it, from your act, listen, 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 ladies. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel, but at the end of the day, here are the facts, right? Because I only speak facts. At the end of the day, when a woman becomes 18, guess what? She is legal. She is legal to drive. She is legal to, uh, uh, she, she legal to smoke marijuana in certain states. Uh, she isn't legal to drink alcohol, maybe in certain countries, right? But she's legal. She has full agency and responsibility over her body. Agency is a woman having responsibility. So if you have responsibility, you must have authority over your actions, right? So when you are 18, you are legal. So a man, you talking about one of my friends talking to you when you was 20 years old, Bro, they doing what they supposed that's to do. You get them out of young. Not, I didn't even lay yeah, out. You're well, assuming well, what one, I'm talking about. Listen, I said sexual acts. Talking I, I in a sexual want, act. I wouldn't want really any different. of my friends talking to no girls that's taking any girls. If they is doing it's like, ah, man, that's your choice. But would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend any of my friends to be talking to a girl that's sliding down a pole. That's just my recommendation. I would ne okay. never oh, recommend it. Inside the strip club saying that they were with the strippers in there. So I don't recommend it. That's what I'm saying. If they go ahead and do it that's that's what they want to go ahead and do okay they but do you think that a 18 year old 19 year old is mentally mature enough to deal with someone who is 35 yes. 40 years old yes. so if your 18 year old daughter comes to you with her 35 year old boyfriend that's what i just how said. does yeah, your yeah. view that's I'll okay explain you? it to you yes no, i'm asking you. that that's a funny question to ask because whenever they want to they always say, oh, well, women mature faster. Women mature. And it's like, if that's true, then a woman should always date older. If that's true. If it's true, which I've been saying this whole time, then a woman 
should be. But when it's this age gap question, then it's all of a sudden. But is she mature enough to handle a third? And the thing is, when I was reading the benefits and the cons, it's about compatibility. But there, you know, like, for instance, um, y'all might have different viewpoints, different perspectives. And yes, that's true. But they try to turn it into, well, she's not mature enough as if she is as if she is slow or something and. It must be that he's manipulating her in some type of way. And I'm pretty sure there are older guys that do manipulate um, younger people, younger women. But that's not true for everyone. You know, some people have a genuine connection and that's what they want. And that's what they like. But don't, you know, they try to make it like the guy is scamming her or something like that. I will explain it to you. I'll give you a detailed answer if you want it, right? No, I'm asking. I'll give you that answer. Listen. Stop talking. Listen to, under, uh, listen to understand. Got you. Men and women are different, right? Since men and women are different, it takes time for a man to acquire value. Like I said in the beginning of the podcast, since it takes time for a man to become a man, usually it's going to be older, right? For a woman, she's born with her value. So it doesn't take any time. The more time she waits, that's more more opportunities for her to get smashed by this smashed and dumped by this and it's more emotional trauma being packed on and it's harder for her to submit to a masculine man no. so for a woman she's at her she's at her prime value her peak value when she's young no. when she's 18 19 You're, 20 I, let me finish when she's young 18 <laughs> 19 20 years old 21 years old pretty much the value a woman is at her prime value when she's and because Attraction isn't symmetrical, meaning that what you find attractive in a man, the man doesn't find attractive in you. He doesn't want those same characteristic traits. Men don't want a strong, masculine, dominant woman, a woman that knows this and got this in order, a woman that studied this and had this degree. We don't care about that. We don't look for that in a woman. So you're you trying don't care to care about that. No, 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 no. Listen, men in general, men in general do not care about this. You keep you, no, no, time out. You only think that you men care about that about because. Say lied to you they lied and to you first, smash. why are you no, listen. Why are talking you about you no listen listen because i want you to i want you to listen to scream listen, 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 listen. 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 listen you think what you think is because he lied to you to smash what i'm not trying to smash on keeping it real you you get it i'm not trying to put up with a little girl who's going to obey you it's you move you're you're prying on i'm speaking over here but okay it sounds like you're prying on the little ass girl but that's what you're saying you're saying that woman different okay but i'll let you yeah see i told you um one minute it's they're women and they have full autonomy and then when they so choose they go back to being little girls and i think it's unfair to uh try to make any older guy dating a younger woman uh, predatory especially since they're keeping the conversation to the whole um 30 plus you know they didn't say 40 plus they're talking about 30 plus and then all likelihood the age gap would probably fall between the five to ten years uh maybe it might be a few situations where you can say oh no it's it's 12 or 13 years and stuff but i do want to say i don't agree with everything that he's saying how he's saying it um but he he is correct when it comes to letting too much time go by that's another issue that i realize when it comes to dating is that uh people out here dating and if you date for too long it people tend to have negative experiences because even if nothing really bad happened, it still is a relationship that didn't work out. And people tend to look at it as a failure. And so if you're going all these years, date, dating, 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 and it's failure, 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 or, you know, relationship ending, 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 those bad experiences start to they start to um build and build and build and build and by the time you get to a relationship that could work out 
you have all these bad experiences and people tend to take it. That's why you have these conversations where they're like, you know, these generalizations of all men this and all women that. So he is correct, you know. As time goes by, it doesn't work in your favor. But I don't think it works in anybody's favor too much. Even for the man, I'm noticing a lot of men, they're struggling because times are changing so quickly because of technology that it's not as easy or simple for a guy that's older to get a woman that's younger as it may have been just 10 to 15 years ago. And stuff. So you want to watch out with that waiting too long to settle down, waiting too long to get married, waiting too long to get serious about life and starting your career and establishing yourself so that you can start a, a family. And that time. So when he was speaking about just that time going by and that's just another person you was with, he's correct. But that's, you know, but I just think it's for everyone. Because. People not going to stop dating. They're not going to stop having sex. And so the longer you take to get serious and lock it down, you just <laughs> you just picking up more bags along the way. And so by the time you want to be serious with somebody, you get to that point where you want to settle down. You're holding all these bags up and like and you're just making it um, worse on yourself. But I'm not going to play too much more of this video because somebody else's um content uh appreciate all the support make sure you like the video share the video and subscribe if you're not already if you are already subscribed i want to say i appreciate the support as I always say make sure you drop a comment with your thoughts risky out risky behavior